everyone, I'm Kelly, and today I will be talking about what I wear hiking, backpacking, and camping. So I currently live in Seattle, Washington, where I do a lot of hiking, backpacking, and camping. So today I wanted to share with you all what I wear, some tips on deciding what to wear, and also where you can buy outdoor clothing. So starting off with what I wear, hiking, backpacking, and camping. First off, we have tops. I have my Uniqlo Heat Tech base layer in both black and white. This is really helpful when it's a lot colder and I need just that skin type base layer. And I'll even use this when it's just cold in the city and I need something to stay a little bit extra warm. And if we're going somewhere where, let's say it's 30 or 40 degrees Fahrenheit, definitely when there's snow, usually I'll wear my smart wool mid layer. Then I have my Columbia long sleeve, which I can use as a base layer or just as a top on its own. I wear this all the time <laughs> and you'll probably see this in most of my hiking or backpacking camping videos. And then underneath it all, I'll usually wear my girlfriend collective sports bra or a Nike sports bra. And usually I like wearing one of these two because if it does get really, really warm, then I'm okay with just wearing these on its own. Then for bottoms, I wear my Girlfriend Collective leggings pretty much all the time. I love the thicker material and also how high-waisted they are. If we're going somewhere colder and I need to stay a bit warmer, then I'll wear my Patagonia base layer underneath or I'll wear my North Face fleece leggings. The fleece leggings had a zipper, which kind of broke, so I had to cut my phone out of the pocket so this zipper doesn't work anymore. On warmer hikes, I'll wear my Nike shorts, and then I also have these rain pants for when it's raining or if we're going through snow. Now onto my feet. I have two pairs of wool socks that I'll always wear. I have my smart wool wool socks and then REI wool socks. Then I have these hiking sock liners. I have my hiking boots, which I got from an REI garage sale many years ago. And these are the only hiking boots that I've ever owned. Then I have my Chaco sandals, which are helpful when you just wanna hang around the campsite or if you go to the beach or to a lake. I like wearing them with socks too, as just something that's a little bit more comfy when I'm done hiking. Then I have my gaiters and micro spikes, which I use when we are going through the snow. Now onto my hands, I just have these gloves. Now onto my head and face, I have my REI Sahara sun hat, which is good on really sunny days. And it's also really cute to just kind of like hang on the back of your backpack. And then I have my Lakers cap and Nike cap also to help keep the sun out of my face. Then when I wanna stay a little bit warmer, I have my Carhartt beanies in both yellow and brown. And then I have my neck gaiter slash neck warmer. And then on sunny days, I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses. And then for jackets, I have my North Face quarter zip fleece. I wear this all the time, even just like normally throughout the city or at home, just because it's so comfy. I have my North Face zip up jacket, which I also love because it has a hood and it has lots of pockets. Then I have my Patagonia puffer jacket, which I'll usually wear when it's a lot colder. And I have my Patagonia rain jacket for when it's raining. So if I don't need too much warmth, but I still want a light jacket, then I'll bring my North Face Fanarac. So it's just like your average anorak with the pockets, and then it converts into a fanny pack, hence the name Fanarac. Then I have my Patagonia fleece, which I usually wear when we're camping or just kind of like hanging out, not so much while we're hiking. It's a little bit tighter, so it's kind of like harder to move around and it's white, so I don't wear it as much when I go hiking. And then I have my thrifted Washington sweatshirt and my thrifted Canadian Rocky sweatshirt, and I usually just wear them when we go camping. I don't really bring them hiking or backpacking just because they're a lot bulkier and don't do as good of a job of keeping me warm as some of these other jackets. So usually, yeah, I'll just wear them when we're hanging out around the campsite. And then for backpacks slash bags, I have my Kelty Red Wing backpack, which I take backpacking and camping. And even when I go on like weekend trips, it's perfect to bring on the airport and it fits in the overhead compartment of the airplane. And then I have my Osprey Daylight Day Pack. So I'll use this for any day hikes or 
when I go camping, it just kind of like acts as my purse. Or if we do go on a backpacking trip or I know we'll go on a day hike as something on the side and I don't wanna bring my entire backpack with me, then I'll bring my day pack. And then I have my REI fanny pack, which I can clip onto the straps of my day pack or I bring a separate kind of strap so I can wear it around my waist. The fanny pack is really helpful just to keep things easily accessible like my phone or my cameras. So the first tip that I have is to layer. A lot of times the outdoor temperature and your body temperature can change throughout the hike. So you just wanna be able to account for that. So an example would be, let's say it's supposed to be a warm day, but you start your hike really early in the morning. So early in the morning, it's a lot cooler. While you're under the trees in the shade, it's a lot cooler. But once you get to the hike where there's more incline, or you're exposed to the sun, that's when you're warmer. So you just wanna make sure that you layer to account for those temperature changes. So from what I've learned, the key to staying warm is by wearing a skin tight base layer, covering your head and neck, and then also wearing gloves. Growing up in Southern California, I feel like I didn't really properly know how to dress for the cold until I watched this YouTube video from Julia and Maya where they talked about how to dress for the winter. So I just applied what they talked about there to hiking clothes. So the skin tight base layer is good for keeping the heat in. Uh, what I used to do was I would wear like a, just like a cotton long sleeve shirt, but that allows cold air to come in or sometimes the shirt itself will be cold. So when it touches your skin, it doesn't really keep you warm. So with the skin tight base layer, it helps keep your body heat in. So covering my head and neck is really helpful. Usually I'll wear a beanie, which will help keep the heat in and then also keep my ears warm. And then to cover my neck, usually I'll wear like a neck gaiter or I'll have a jacket that zips all the way up to kind of cover my neck or I'll wear a base layer that has a turtleneck. And that's really helpful because when it's cold outside, the air is cold or when it's windy, you don't want that air coming into your jacket. So having a turtleneck kind of helps prevent the cold air from coming inside. This one might be a bit obvious, but when you're hiking in the sun, don't wear black. This is something that I learned recently on our most recent backpacking trip where we were hiking up a granite rock. The temperature outside was cold, but it was fully exposed to the sun. So I was wearing my black long sleeve because I was cold, but because we were exposed to the sun, I was getting really warm. So for my next piece of clothing that I'm gonna get, I'm probably gonna try to find a long sleeve that I can wear that is a lighter color and won't absorb the heat as much. So obviously REI is a really great place to find outdoor clothing and just outdoor gear in general. They have pretty much all of the outdoor brands like Patagonia, North Face, Columbia, everything, but it is a little bit on the pricier side. You could also consider going to the outlets. If there are any outlets for any of those brands nearby, like Columbia, Patagonia, North Face, Arcteryx, anything like that. And then another option that you could do is thrifting. Usually you can find some good outdoor gear in a thrift store. That's where I found my North Face fleece that I wear like all the time. And then also my embroidered sweatshirts that I wear camping. And then you also have apps like Depop, ThreadUp, OfferUp, or even Facebook Marketplace where you can buy things secondhand. So what's nice about when you're shopping for outdoor clothing is usually you're looking for something specific. So sometimes you'll look for like a puffer jacket. So that makes it easier to search those apps or you're looking for a specific brand like Patagonia or North Face or something like that. That makes it easier when searching those apps and trying to find something secondhand. So even though I listed a bunch of things that I own, I don't want you to think that you have to own all of these things before you start camping or hiking or backpacking. The biggest thing is you should start with what you own now. So whatever uh, athletic apparel, sweats, leggings, and like the backpack that you have, start hiking with that. And then from there, you'll kind of learn what you want to improve for next time. That's kind of what we did. Everything that I showed you today was basically what I have accumulated over the six, seven years of hiking and camping. When I started hiking six or seven years ago, we went to Zion National Park. And I feel like that was my first like big hike that I've done. And I wore like Adidas soccer sweats, 
I wore the, like a cotton long sleeve, uh, hooded jacket under, and then like a North Face jacket. And then I just wore like Nike fly knits. So definitely not what I would wear now, but that was enough for me to start going outside. Once you do go on more hikes, you start learning what you need for next time. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you found this video helpful. Everything that I mentioned in this video, I have links in the description box below so you can check those out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I make a lot of videos about our life here in Seattle and the adventures that we go on around Washington and the surrounding area. Like this video if you liked it. If you have have additional tips that you want to share from what you have learned based on your hiking, backpacking, camping experience, please comment it down below. If you have any questions or have anything else that you want to say, please feel free to leave it in the comments below too. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.